So I think we can all agree that 2020 sucked. Um, it was not good in just about any way. Um, and so far 2021 hasn't been great either, but you know what, we're getting through it. But since 2020 sucked so bad, um, it pushed a lot of major coasters back a year. And so 2021 is shaping up to be quite the year to be a coaster enthusiast. My name is Drew and today I'll talk about some of my hype going into 2021. According to RCDB, there are 130 coasters set to open in the year 2021. Now, it's these are set to open. These aren't necessarily guaranteed um, West Coast racers. But if these coasters do open on time, we should have a lot to look forward to as a community. So let's start off with some big new attractions coming in 2021. And to start, um, I am going to talk about a ride model that is one of my personal favorites, and it is the Mock Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster. Uh, this ride recently got a name announced as the Ride to Happiness at Plopsa Land, and it looks to be an incredible roller coaster. So it has a Jojo roll, uh, multiple launches, a banana roll, a vertical loop, um, a zero G roll, an awesome outer banked turn. It just seems like an amazing ride and to be taken on an extreme spinning coaster is going to be something like nothing else. This ride is in Belgium though, and I currently don't have any plans to go to Europe, even though I would like to someday, but no plans so far, so I don't think I would get around to riding this one. It's in Belgium, um, but I won't get around to riding it for a while. So now let's talk about a different manufacturer, B&M. So one their major coaster that is getting made in the US is Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego. And this seems to be the coaster that no one is really talking about. Um, it's just a dive coaster, but it seems to be overlooked. But it seems like a pretty decent ride, especially considering the amount of space and the height restrictions that they were given for this ride. Um, I think it should be fun. I've never been to SeaWorld San Diego, but that would be fun if the California parks do eventually reopen, which they will, but who knows when. And now let's talk about Premier Rides, who are making Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando. Now this is a park that I have been to, and I think Icebreaker will be a really nice addition to the park. Um, it's a, a multi-launch coaster, it's a multi-pass, um, with a beyond vertical tail. Um, and it seems like a fun ride all around. Um, I think this will be one of the most f unexpectedly fun rides of 2021. And I think it'll be a great compliment to SeaWorld Orlando since they currently don't have a launch coaster of any type. In terms of SNS, the only major coaster that they seem to be adding in 2021 is a 4D free spin to Adventureland. And this is a park that I've never been to, but it's pretty close and I could drive to it eventually and I'd like to get there someday. Um, it's replacing their Hopkins Looper, but there's still a lot of space, so it might just be a, uh, a bit of a band-aid replacement for now with something bigger to come in the future. But I think it... I don't know the park. Um, I'm not sure if it would be a good fit for the park. I mean, I haven't been on a 4D free spin, but I think they would make a nice addition to a lot of different types of parks. So let me know if you think this is a good addition. Um, I've never been here. I would like to someday. Um, but that seems to be the only big thing that SNS is up to in 2021. Next up, I would like to talk about Vekoma because Vekoma has been making some great strides recently and they are becoming a major manufacturer of coasters. So they have Abyssus coming to Energylandia. This is the new gen Vekoma models, which look absolutely amazing. Um, again, that's in Europe and I don't have any plans to go there, but I would really love to ride one of these new gen Vekomas and I hope that one comes to America. And the other two big coasters that Vekoma is coming out with is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and Tron Light Cycle Power Run. Um, let's talk about the Tron ride first. So this seems like a good ride. Um, it is cloned, but it seems like it'll be a really fun ride. Um, maybe we'll get some of that, some of the feel for that new gen Vekoma launch coaster. Um, it is in a more of a motorbike position, so I'd be interested to see how that works. And then the other big coaster, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, looks really fun. Um, I'd be interested to see how 
Vekoma's take on a spinning coaster compares to like something like a mock ride spinning coaster and if it'll be free spin or controlled spin or what the deal with that is. And it will be Epcot's very first roller coaster, oddly enough. They haven't had a roller coaster before, so that'll be a good fit for the park. Give them a brand new shiny attraction. And I have been saving um, the two probably most talked about manufacturers of coasters for 2021 for last. So I'm going to start with Rocky Mountain Construction, or RMC. Um, they are adding three coasters in the U.S. in 2021. Um, let's start small and work our way up. So the, the least exciting is um, Stunt Pilot, which is coming to Silverwood. Now this is an RMC Raptor clone. We've seen these before on Wonder Woman Golden Lasso and Railblazer. Um, I haven't been on one, but these seem like excellently paced rides and it seems like an absolute beast of a ride and it's relatively cheap, which is great for small parks and it fits in a small footprint. So I know there's a lot more of these that got announced recently, but this is the only one set to open in 2021 of the Raptor clones, but it seems like an amazing ride. Um, I hope to get to Silverwood someday, but I would love to ride this. And I think no matter where you put an RMC Raptor, it's probably going to be a good ride and a pretty good crowd pleaser, I would guess. Another coaster that is being made by RMC is Jersey Devil Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure. Now this is an original layout for this single rail coaster. Um, it is a bigger layout featuring longer trains. Um, I'm not sure how pacing will compare with those longer trains and the more drawn out elements. Um, it will be interesting to see how it compares, but it's exciting to see a new layout for these RMC Raptors. Um, it seems like a fun ride, and I would be perfectly happy if this came to my home park, but I think it'll be a nice addition to Six Flags Great Adventure, considering they have two um, airtime machines there, um, especially with El Toro. So it'll be nice to have a pretty solid looping coaster, a single rail. You, you don't see many of these, so that's probably marketability right there, but I think it'll be a good ride. Something else that RMC is doing is replacing sections of track on Lightning Rod with iBox track. Now this will be interesting to see how it changes the coaster, um, and hopefully it improves reliability and makes the ride just all around better. Um, I'm excited for this. Um, I've been on the ride and it was amazing, but I'd be interested to see how it changes the ride, wood com the wood track compared to the steel track, and um, I think it's a good update, especially if it improves reliability. It's just sad to see the ride go down for the remainder of 2020, but um, it is set to reopen in 2021. And now the biggest, baddest one that's been getting the mo most talk of these RMC ones is Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens Tampa. Now this is a park that I have been to, and I think it looks amazing. Um, I haven't been on Steel Vengeance, and I'd be curious to see how that compares to Iron Quasi and how Iron Quasi compares to um, Zadra at Energylandia, but it seems like a really fun ride. It seems greatly paced. I think it, this will be one of the standout attractions of 2021, and it'll be interesting to see how it compares to the next manufacturer that I'm going to talk about and some of their coasters. In 2021, Intamin Amusement Rides is coming out with some great new coasters. Um, the first I'd like to talk about is Big Dipper coming to Luna Park, and this will be their take on a single rail coaster. This one does feature a launch. Um, it doesn't seem that well paced to me, at least from the animation they've provided, but it depends on what the park is wanting to go for. Um, I don't think this ride specifically will compete with the RMC Raptor, but it will be interesting to see how maybe in the future Intamin gets more aggressive with their single rail coasters and then it becomes more of a direct competitor to the RMC single rail. So I think this will be a good looking coaster. It'll be nice to see something like this come to Luna Park, especially considering how tight the land was and how they were able to get this ride in there. Um, looks like a great ride. Uh, I don't have any plans to visit Australia, but Australia is growing on my um, list of places to visit with all the new coasters coming. Another major coaster by Intamin that is set to come out in 2021 is Pantheon, opening at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Um, I haven't been to this park, but from what I can tell, the ride looks absolutely amazing. Um, I think the theme will be interesting. I, 
I would like to see how the theme plays out in some of the ride station and queuing and stuff. Um, but the ride itself looks amazing. It's a multi-pass coaster. Um, they have a lot of different unique elements like a big outer bank turn and it's interesting to see how Intamin is taking a lot of these elements that RMC created and using them on their own rides but then making them their own in, in their own unique ways. So this looks like a great ride. I know there's been talks about this will be the best coaster of 2021 or the best coaster in the world period. Um, I'd be interested to see how this compares to Iron Gwazi and the next two that we're going to talk about. And now let's talk about a coaster that was announced quite a while ago at IAPA, but it hasn't seemed to be getting a lot of attention just because it was announced so long ago, but Conda at Wallaby, Belgium. Um, this seems like an absolutely insane ride. I'd be interested to see how the non-inverting Cobra roll feels. Um, it looks absolutely like a beast, and I think it'll be one of the best coasters in the world. Um, I... I haven't ridden enough coasters to really judge what is the best, but this seems like an absolutely insane piece of machinery, and it'll be interesting to see how well this turns out and the pacing of it, and um, if I find myself in Wallaby, Belgium, which I hope to, I am for sure going to get a ride on this coaster. And now for one of the most talked about rides of 2021, Velocicoaster, coming to Universal's Islands of Adventure. Um... I haven't been to this park, but man, does this seem like a good coaster. Um, it seems like it just has all the right elements plus a lot of theming. I think that's re what's really going to set this attraction apart from the others besides maybe um, Guardians of the Galaxy, but this is a, an elite coaster for sure. Um, it seems like a great ride. Um, I'm hoping that it won't be overhyped, but it looks like a fun ride. I'm, I really love the lights on this ride. Um, They'll seem super cool, um, and I'm excited for 2021 for a few reasons, um, but one of the big ones is I am planning on going to Florida, and I hope to visit two of the parks there, um, those being Islands of Adventure and Bush Gardens Tampa. Um, I plan to go in May, and hopefully Iron Gwazi and Velocicoaster will be open by then, but I don't think Velocicoaster is set to open then. Um, but I think Iron Gwazi will be, so I'll at least be getting Iron Gwazi, and the plan is to make that my 50th roller coaster. Um, so I'm just excited for 2021. Um, I might hit some of the uh, smaller fun spots that I haven't been to before. Um, last time I was at Bush Gardens, it got rained out, so we didn't get to do all the rides. I missed out on Kumba, which I've heard is the best ride in the park. Um, so I'm, I just want to go back to that park and I'm excited to go back to Florida and ride some of these rides that I missed the first time around. Um, so I think that's all I have to talk about in this video. Um, are you excited for 2021? Cause I am pretty excited. Um, it, because so many of these rides got pushed back, it's really making 2021 an interesting year to be a coaster enthusiast with a lot of new coasters coming out. Um, so let me know what you're most excited to ride, or even if you don't get around to it this year. Uh, let's hope California parks reopen, and thank you for watching. Uh, God bless.